Here's a supply list for you. I come to the paper fronts in a minute. You can pause the video here and write it down or just take a screenshot. <coughs> nah, not that type of a screenshot. Alright, here we are in GIMP. And this is the fronts I've created based of of this photograph I found on the internet. Uh, one front is about 30 millimeters in height. On a full page I get about 45 of those fronts. And those are enough for uh, two to three palm trees. Let's get started by cutting out the fronts. Did I mention you need patience? Next grab your magnet wire and cut off a piece about 2 inches long. A small drop of thin super glue, but any super glue will do just fine. And glue the wire to the front. Make sure you keep it nice and centered. I use a toothpick to press the wire down. One down, 19 to go. Now for the fun part, painting the fronts. I use undiluted acrylic paint and I always paint from the center outwards. Those fronts are very fragile be careful not to rip them apart. Once the paint is dry, we can start assembling. Make a nice bundle, almost like a flower bouquet, and start twisting the wires. Almost looks like a palmetto, but yeah, we are not done yet. Next step is to build the trunk. Get your florist wire and cut off a piece about 4 to 5 inches long. And attach the tree top to the wire. I use some magnet wire for that. Just wrap it around. A few drops of super glue in the end won't hurt. So much for the core. Now get your modeling clay ready. This is uh, air drying modeling clay. You can get this at any craft store. A few drops of water will help uh, softening the clay. Roll it and thin it out until you're happy with the diameter. Then uh, cut it to length. Leave the wire at the bottom sticking out for an inch. Next I cut the trunk into two halves over the whole length. I don't know, reminds me of a hot dog. Remember this old school packaging band? Comes in handy to add some texture to the trunk and to get rid of all the fingerprints. Once done with this, allow the clay 24 hours to dry. For the base color of the trunk I use a mix of uh, mid gray and olive green. I mix about 2 to 1, two parts gray, one part green and just brush it on. Once that's dry, I apply a wash of uh, dark brown and dark grey. A 
Looks good, but yeah, we're not done yet. Some light tan color for the tips of the fronts and some light green for some highlight. Super tree twigs to represent the seats. And we are done. Hi, have you seen my sunblocker? Huh? 